Hey, everybody. Goldie here. And we are running it back with Ronda Rowdy, baddest. And we're running it back with a brand new skill plate. So this plate is the baddest jacket. When you generate three or more submission gems, increase your yellow and black gem damage by 100% for two turns. So we are going to look at one moveset for Miss Rhonda using this plate. We're just going to get right into it. Double black with yellow one. This is available at three star. So black one, the rolling fireman's carry slam, 8 MP. Deal 85,721 damage and choose seven gems to make into yellow gems. Cross arm breaker is the submission 8 MP. Place eight submission gems and do 127,905 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into X break gems. And yellow one, the belly to backside slam, 6 MP, deal 69,206 damage and choose a two by three area to swap into black gems. So instead of going super sub, we're going to go gem damage focus, meaning we are bringing in co-owner Ric Flair to reduce the amount of sub turns. Reason being, we wanna keep as many X breaks on the board as possible. And we get to choose where they go. It's not like the uh, green move where it's random. We get control over this. Uh, Kofi for more yellow MP. Shane O'Mac for 40% more yellow gem damage plus an extra gem. And my yellow and black gem coaches are not the greatest right now. So we're going to go with Santa Hogan. We'll take a look at the stats. Um, black gems are actually her second strongest. So you may be, let's just look here. Yeah, so you would be better off doing a black gem focus here. Uh, reason I'm using Shane is because of the 40%. And uh, I mean, it's Shane O'Mac. Let's show him some love. And for the belts, um, Full Fury, we've, we've tried to look for black and yellow substats uh, for gem damage. Got the black percent on there for the move. Maxed out gem damage metal. And of course, the brand new skill plate, which is basically an all heart plate with two different colors, which gives me hope that we're going to get one for red and blue gems in the near future. So let's see how this looks on Rhonda. She, of course, is wearing the jacket to the ring. So makes sense. So use the belly to back side slam. So hopefully get everything loaded on turn one and we're not going to cascade. Well, we did, but we didn't pin, which is nice. And okay, so eight submission gems. We're going to want to place them on. I mean, it doesn't matter because we're going to turn them into yellow gems anyways. So Let's see if you can, you know. Put them on gems she's not going to break. Maybe a couple leftovers on yellows just so you can chain them together. Perfect. And then choose eight gems to make into yellow gems. So now our yellow gems are doing 17k. Black gems doing 18k. There, three, four, five, six. We'll just turn that into yellow. And do that. Blow up the entire board. That charges the yellow move that'll charge the sub. And then I'm gonna run it again and I'm gonna swap in Dude Love for Shane just to see how it looks with the black gem damage. So let's do that real quick. Go in here, swap it out. And gem damage. I think he's on somebody. Yes. Uh, where is he at? 
There he is. So that's 35% to our black gems, plus an extra black gem, which is not necessary for the area move. But that's going to bring... Oh yeah, that's the better way to go. That's going to bring our black gems up to 10k. So let's test it out again. So pre-plate, 13k and 9k. Yeah, black gem damage, definitely the way to go. So Hall of Fame Bree, Boogeyman, Zombie Edge. Four coaches. And I realize that you're turning them into yellow, but you're hoping that, you know, the black gems will be around to break. Let's go there. So now those are up to 20k. Those are up to 15. You could argue dealer's choice between Shane and Dude Love. Shane will give you the extra gem. You are turning them into yellows. See, like, we can't reach. Didn't have a lot of yellows to begin with. Unfortunately. And not a lot of black on the board either. So it's going to depend on the entourage you have available to you. If you have Hall of Fame Booker, he gives you two extra yellow gems at 17k. If you have Hall of Fame Bree, she's 5%. Boogeyman gives you black gem damage. Uh, Striker Brawn gives you yellow gem damage. So you'll want to tailor that around what you actually have available. Uh, but that is how the jacket plate looks on Rhonda. And uh, no surprise that jacket plate rhymes with jacket gate. What up, DJ? Uh, but yeah, basically another style of plate like the all heart. So all heart is green and purple. Jacket is yellow and black, which makes me hopeful that we get one for red and blue in the near future. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know who you think the plate would be on. I'm immediately thinking Showboat Lex. Um, I will do a video testing him out. I have him at five star gold. So I will test this plate on him. Let me know in the comments uh, who you think this could work on. Um, maybe even Showboat Charlotte? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to try that too. But let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.